This is Utah Beach. And I am up the top. And this is it's like a German gun trying to defend the Allies from coming in. Didn't do a very good job. Now there's a lot of holes in that, presumed from rust over the time, but they do look a lot like bullet holes in the side there. Shrapnel, maybe a grenade gun off. I don't know. Oh yeah, them are definitely bullet holes. They're too big for rust. This is the US Navy Monument and it stands tall overlooking Utah Beach. The names of every US ship that took part in Operation Overlord are inscribed on the base of this monument. And it is a lovely looking monument. Does proud to the US Navy. I'm on Utah Beach and I'm at Saint Marie de Mont. This is where more than 23,000 American troops landed on D-Day, June 6, 1944, along a three mile stretch of coast. And I'm coming down to a landing craft. Just the men travelled in from the boat to the beaches. This is one of the landing crafts that they all came in. Imagine a view. That's if you make it off here. Another tank left here. This looks like a Sherman tank. It's been painted. Looks quite nice. It's now sitting here guarding Utah Beach.
This is the part of Utah Beach where the 2nd French Armoured Division landed. Let's go and have a look around. This is Utah Beach and I'm walking through the sand dunes to some bunkers and a lot of them being blown up. Such a lovely beach. You can just imagine all the soldiers coming ashore, scrambling up here for dear life. Hopefully these bunkers would have been taken out before they got here. If not, a lot of machine gun fire. There's bunkers down the bottom there and this bunker looks like it's partially destroyed. You can see bullet holes in them. Lots of bullet holes where they've tried to take out the guns and then obviously the big guns have done the damage. standing on top of the bunker. You can imagine the view that they've got. Clear view all across the water. And then there's another one further down. And a couple of smaller ones behind. All along the top of the dunes, there's machine gun bunkers. It's where the Germans fired on the Allies as they attempted to get off the beaches. You can imagine the amount of firepower going down on them. It must have been sheer hell trying to get off the beach, trying to survive. This one looks like a really big bunker. Another small machine gun one. Uh, 
and this bunker is a massive one bullet holes in the side You can imagine being the German here, manning your gun, looking out there, just having a look at the sea, and then seeing a mass of boats coming over. Wonder what they would have thought. And that's where the German cannon would have been pointing out. And someone's painted a lizard on the side of there, which does look good. And it is showing a bit of damage, probably from the Allies bombing them before they landed. 